channel. Today's video we're going to be doing an unboxing of a super exciting CD. This was an exclusive for the MetLife show. So if you did not know I recently went to the Eras tour at MetLife Stadium. My mum and I flew from the UK specifically for this show and at the show at the merch stand they were selling these exclusive CDs. If you've not checked out my Eras tour series please check that out. It was really really fun. I love recording it. I love being there. New York is amazing. I loved it. But yes we're going to be unboxing this today. So if you didn't know basically on the Friday of the MetLife show at midnight basically they released uh, the Karma remix with I Spice, the music video. They also released two new versions of Midnight's. So they released Midnight's Till the Dawn edition which had Hits Different and now Hits Different is on streaming. They also had Snow on the Beach with more Lana Del Rey and then Karma for I Spice but they also had this Midnight's The Late Night edition and this is not on streaming. You can get the digital album off Taylor's US store but they had the physical CDs exclusively at MetLife but now they are also selling them at other shows since then as well. But yeah, I'm just going to go through the CD. Super excited about this. I did not know this was a thing before like we got tickets so it was just very exciting because I am someone who collects Taylor CDs so as soon as I found out it was there I was like I need I need to get this. We were really really worried because we were going to MetLife night three that they would not have any more of these available but they had so many. They just had boxes and boxes like while we were at the merch stand they just kept bringing more out and there was a limit of four per customer so I bought four and my mum bought four and basically we'd had people messages before the show and be like oh can you get this for us? I was really worried that we wouldn't be able to get it for people because we just thought it was going to be so limited but thankfully we did manage to get you know eight copies between us which we then gave to our friends who had asked beforehand but obviously we kept a coffee for myself because I am a big I'm a big CD collector and I love Midnight's and I'm just like I was just honestly it was just so perfect that they got this so yeah we're gonna go unbox this so this is the hype sticker on it so it says Midnight's the late night edition it looks like that. Really, really gorgeous. I'm obviously going to keep the sticker. I've kept the sticker for the Midnight's one, so I'm going to keep the sticker as well. But we are going to unwrap it so we can show you the CD. I do not believe there's actually a lyric booklet in here, but as you can see on there, it's got a two-sided poster. So let's... And then this is the back as well. Yeah, so this was $10 from the show. We got it from the merch stand. The merch stand, we probably waited like two hours in the queue for the merch stand and so many things were sold out. It was honestly unbelievable I've never seen a Taylor merch done like that before uh, and it was in the sun as well we were so warm we didn't manage to get everything we wanted sadly even though we waited those two hours because things had just sold out because we went on that third night we didn't go to the shop basically they had a shop if you'd seen on social media and they had all of the merch stocks on the Friday but then by the time we got there on the Sunday it just we didn't have it we managed to get the quarters it my sister was asking for that we didn't get it in the size we wanted but we got it in a medium for her and then I got a t-shirt we got my sister's boyfriend a t-shirt and my mum got a t-shirt and we tried to get a tote bag but they didn't have a tote bag and I was gutted because that was literally the item I wanted the most I've seen so many people with them and unfortunately they'd sold out and they do not restock so they have a limit on the merch items I do believe it is either one per person for like the crew necks and the quarter zips but then four per person for other items Items. but yeah it is what it is but we think I think one of my American friends is going to be sending me a tote bag so fingers crossed because I really wanted it they also had no plastic bags either like to carry on merch so we just had all this merch with like eight CDs and they were like yeah we've run out of bags sorry and we were like oh what do we do so I went to like a uh, customer service like hi do you have like a plastic bag and they didn't and then we went to get some water and we we're just like what do we do with all this merch like wh what realistically what do we do with this so basically what we did do is panic we panicked I will admit and then we saw a lady with the Eras tour plastic bags and we we're like oh which merch stand did you get them from and she's like oh well I got it from one of the merch stands and we were just like oh you know which one blah blah, blah. and she was like oh like, I actually got it at you know a different night and I was like ah well thank you anyway and then she's like you know what I've got two here I'm not going to be using two you know you can have this and it was just honestly the nicest thing like we were so stressed we were already stressed because unfortunately we didn't get tickets together me and my mom we had to sit separately because Ticketmaster was just a joke we were just happy to be in the stadium and honestly that one person was just an actual angel because otherwise we would just we were so stressed we because it's just like because then you have to take all your merch with you like everywhere you go like to the toilet and stuff and it's just difficult without a bag so thank you to the absolute angel who gave us that bag it was honestly they don't i don't think they realize how appreciative they were like we were like oh my god it was just yeah absolute angel so thank you to that person okay this is hard to open well i don't want to rip my little sticker because i love i love a little I think they call them hype stickers because they definitely call them hype stickers for vinyl but I don't know if they call them for this. Okay there we go. So this has 
as of recording obviously things can change i imagine it will go on the store like they just had so many copies they have boxes and boxes and boxes so i do think it will go on the store or it will remain a tour exclusive but it will be at every tour show so eventually it'll just become really easy to get well easy ish because people will buy them then sell them on hopefully for a decent price maybe they'll release the vinyl of this i would absolutely love if they released a the vinyl of this because i also collect taylor vinyl so that'd be really fun and this is different from all the other versions of Midnight's because the clock on the back is different. So when I said, because I've got all the versions of Midnight's, the lavender one, I probably was disappointed with because I love the lavender, I love the, everything about it. But the part of the clock was exactly the same and I thought it would have been really good if we got a, a version of Midnight's that had an entire clock. And now we do! So we have an entire clock and I love it because technically like, Taylor's hands are like the like clock hands which I, I just I love that but yeah this is what the CD looks like absolutely gorgeous so we have a different colour obviously from the original Midnight CD would it help you if I showed you that? should I show you the original Midnight CD? let's see here we go so this is just a comparison with the other Midnight CD so as you can see this photo is exactly the same we do have different tracks we'll go through that in a second and then the colours are obviously different so this is just a white whereas this is the blue and then yeah so you can see the differences between the two and then obviously on the back rather than just having a section of a clock we've got a whole clock so yeah I do hope they release this like normally because it would be really really good because it's actually just you could just get one version of Midnight's because there's so many different versions now so it would be nice if people who just want to get one version because obviously not everyone collects loads of cds like weirdos like me so it is good that they got this also i love that it's tour pictures as well like i really i love that because we don't have a tour book i was really expecting us to have a tour book by now and i'm starting to think the fact we don't have one makes me think we're not gonna get one which is really sad because i've collected taylor tour books so i hope maybe they've changed their mind and maybe at the international shows they release them who knows but it'd be really great okay so let's let's go through the track list so as you know the general track list from Midnight, uh, we have all of them. So, Lavender Haze, Maroon, Anti Hero, Snow on the Beach, You're On Your Own Kid, Midnight Rain, Question, Vigilante, yeah, <laughs> Bejeweled, Labyrinth, Karma, Sweet Nothing, and Mastermind. And then these are the late night tracks. So, it says that late night tracks we've got The Great War, Bigger Than the Whole Sky, High Infidelity, Would Have, Could Have, Should Have, Dear Reader, and then these are the exclusive ones for the late night edition. You're losing me from the vault and this is the only way you can get you're losing me for the current moment in time in the it will eventually go on streaming like hits different did but obviously for the time being it's exclusive on here you can find it online if you really want to listen to it so yeah i a lot of people ask me to like play snippets of songs and stuff like when i have like a vinyl and stuff but i personally don't do that on my channel because copyright but there are ways you can still hear them that are not from me but there are ways that I will not endorse. I will not endorse them, but it is there, <laughs> just so you know. And then we've got Snow on the Beach, Feet More Lana Del Rey, which I think is honestly one of the most hilarious things Taylor Swift has ever done. If you do not know, basically people were complaining with the original version of Snow on the Beach featuring Lana Del Rey, because she didn't get a full verse. So what did they do? They released one with a full verse, and I just think that's really good. And the fact they said more Lana Del Rey, it's just like, really funny and then karma feet ice spice so actually at the metlife shows in the every single time she's done karma so all three times she actually did bring ice spice out for this remix so that was super cool so i've seen ice spice so those are the exclusive tracks those final three and you'll notice on the late night tracks it has the 3am editions this is the first time any of the 3am editions have been on cd but we do not have glitch or paris on here there are a lot of theories why we do not have Glitch and Paris on here, but they're kind of like the most romantic of Midnight's and I feel like this is quite a sad version of Midnight's almost because we're getting like You're Losing Me, which is like one of Taylor's, if not Taylor's saddest song. Like I was speaking to my friend and she was like, I think this is sadder than All Too Well. Like it's, it's sad. I think there are different kinds of sadness, especially when it comes to like love or whatever. And this is one of those ones that's like, it's prepare yourself and yet this is the back so we've got the full clock and then we've got taylor this is when she sings lavender haze on the tour so we've got the lavender haze coat and then she also has this like t-shirt dress and she takes the coat off and sings anti-hero in that and then during midnight rain she takes this like dress t-shirt sparkly thing off and she wears the outfit that she wears for the performance which you will have seen very viral on tiktok so let's open this up ah! so as you can see it is different we've still got the same kind of like vinyl-esque kind of cd let me 
I think out of all of them, this is most similar in terms of colour to the jade green but it is different so I'm going to get because I think when you look at it now it looks the same but it is different so as you can see this is the jade green and this is the late night edition it's more of a blue it's got more of a blue colour but as you can see on the middle it's the middle is different so it's like got a darker version of the clock rather than like the white again the fact that it's still the vinyl kind of cd i do think we're gonna get a vinyl of this eventually it would have been nice at the show but i also completely understand why they didn't do it at the show because imagine everybody walking around with vinyl they would get stepped on they would get damaged they would be chaotic but i hope in the future we do get them on the store so this is the lyric booklet i have seen that it's not actually got lyrics in it is a double-sided poster now personally i don't like that i like when the poster's like separate. I don't know if the poster is separate, but if the poster's like part of the lyric booklet, I don't like that because then you can't take it out, you can't put it on your wall because obviously like then you, the album doesn't look good when you like present it on a shelf, if that makes any sense whatsoever. Because you have to like, okay, there we go. Okay, so yeah, it is all one thing. So I will not be taking this poster out. If you do want to have it as a poster, you want to buy two of these, I think, because otherwise when you have your CD, it just looks like this. And you don't really want your CD to just look like this, personally. Obviously it's completely up to you. Maybe you like that, but for me, I like to have the lyric booklet. I love album artwork so much. So yes, it is not a proper lyric booklet like the other versions of Midnight. It would have been really nice if they did that. But also I imagine this was released quite like fast like I imagine it was a quick turnaround because obviously it's got tour pictures in and tour only started like a few months ago and also it was kept relatively quiet like there were the day before there was like a rumor that there was Karma the Ice Spice and then like a late night edition of Midnight's but no one believed it everyone was like yeah sure and then it happened and we were like oh but it was mainly kept quiet the whole time so like well done to them that's like really impressive because the fact there was actual physical CDs like when folklore was surprise dropped obviously we didn't have physical cds from the get-go like we had to wait a few like months to get the physical cds but this one we did so they, they did very well to keep that secret so this is the poster so as you can see this is the front of the lyric booklet well lyric booklet and a lot of people were sad about that also because we've got a whole new song on here you're losing me and we didn't have a lyric booklet for that and with all taylor's songs sometimes people mishear lyrics so it's also really good when you have a lyric booklet so you can see what the actual lyrics are and then also see who the producers are i believe it was jack and aaron but i'm not 100 percent on that for you're losing me but yeah this is the lovely poster so the two posters are from the like first outfit that taylor wears on the tour during the lover section so yeah really gorgeous that is like one of my favorite outfits she wears on the tour i think my favorite is definitely like the enchanted dresses because it's very much like speak now tour vibes but i do really really like that like first outfit because it's like the first one you see her and it's so glittery and sparkly and it's just so taylor swift like obviously like young taylor wouldn't wear anything like this but it's also just like the most perfect kind of like mature like outfit you know like it's so it's so taylor swift even though it's not like speak now version taylor swift but it's still very taylor swift because it's all sparkly so i love it but they are the two posters and they are attached to the lyric booklet so personally i wish they were separate i wish they had a full lyric booklet and then a poster but again really happy to have this i'm not like being ungrateful that it's all one but i will not be putting this poster up i'll be putting it straight back in my cd case so there we go this is what it looks like this is the cd so as you can see it is just like the other midnight cds it looks like this there you go so if you don't know obviously i grew up with cd i'm 23 i grew up with cds we listen to cds i do have a cd player my mom's car used to have a cd player and stuff so basically you can touch this side of a cd this means absolutely nothing this is the bit you don't want to touch like with vinyl obviously you don't want to touch either side but if you did not know i imagine most people who watch my channel will have had a cd before i think most people kind of grew up with them as well obviously i didn't grow up with vinyl but i grew up with cds so don't, you don't want this to be scratched, but you this bit, it's fine to touch. Just if you were curious. This is when I find out I'm wrong and I find out every CD I've ever had that got damaged just because I've been touching this, but it's not. Imagine. <laughs> so this is what it looks like. I think it's really, really pretty. It is a slightly different one to that jade green. And yeah, I'm excited to see if we do get a vinyl, what this actually looks like on a vinyl, because as you know, especially with the mahogany one, the 
deep mahogany colour doesn't translate onto the vinyl. If you've never seen any of the Midnight CD and vinyl and you want to see them, I actually have a full video on the Midnight vinyl, so you can check that out. I'll put the link in the description below. Gotta do that self promo while I'm here. I just have so many versions of Midnight's. The only one I did not have and did not get was the Love Potion one. I don't think it ever came to the UK store and it's very, very similar to the Lavender one. There are some rumours that it's the exact same as the Lavender edition just made in Canada so obviously as you know if CDs are sorry if vinyl are pressed elsewhere there are slight differences but with this one it's quite a big difference and so maybe it is different but I did see a picture of somebody who had the lavender one and then got the love potion one and there was just a sticker over the barcode so it was a different barcode but then underneath it was the same one as the lavender one so <gasps> I don't think I'll be getting that. That'll be the only version of Midnight's I won't get. But I did get the rest of them. I did get the rest of them. I do like, because some people are vinyl collectors, they like different versions of the vinyl, but I don't know. I don't know. That's a bit... Uh, I don't know. It would have been nice if it was different. But anyway, this is the CD. And then finally, we have this back cover. So this is one of the most underrated and one of my favourite parts of all Taylor albums, which is probably quite sad, but it's this bit behind the CD. So with Red, I remember when I first got Red, so I was just like a little like seven, not 17 year old, I was 12, a little 12 year old and it has this like lovely back cover that says thank you on it and I used to just be obsessed with that image. I just loved it so, so much. So I'm really glad they brought back really good back covers for behind the CD because you don't really see this, especially if you don't play your CD at all, you just kind of collect them, you don't see this. But I really love this, it's absolutely gorgeous. I think it's the look what you made me do, oh no, I think it is for the first bit. I'm trying to tell what the outfit is because it's quite dark. I wanted to say it was the look what you made me do but I don't think it is because you can see uh, her leg like both legs whereas with the look what you made me do when one of the legs is like covered with the bodysuit but yeah i think it is from the first performance with lover i think it's just like edited but that is just such a gorgeous shot i really really like that i think it's just yeah that would be a really really good on the front of like a cd for an era's tour like concert dvd cd combo you know, if they want to do that, I wouldn't object. Like, I can safely say if they ever did that, I would very much be purchasing it because she's not actually properly released, like, a CD, DVD of concerts since Speak Now, and I love that so much. It'd be really great if she did that for the Eras tour, especially because it's the Eras tour, like... But then how would you decide which surprise songs to go on it? I think if she was going to do it, and she had to have the two surprise songs. So if you don't know at the Eras tour, she does two surprise songs. Usually in other tours, she's only done one. But she does one on guitar, one on piano. If you're curious what we heard, we heard Welcome to New York. A lot of people weren't happy with this. I was, like, ecstatic. I, obviously, we'd flown over to New York. We're from the UK. So it's quite, like, incredible to hear Welcome to New York, like, in New York. Obviously, MetLife is in New Jersey, but essentially it's New York. It's, like, right next to it. And because we were in New York anyway, like, our hotel was in New York. So it was quite, like... It was, it was great. I was really, really happy with that. So that was on guitar and then on piano, she did a repeat and she did clean. So I'm a 1989 girly and the fact she did two songs from 1989, she did that for me. She did that for me. But if she was ever to do a concert like film, DVD, I think Long Live on guitar and then, oh, I think something from Lover on piano. I think because we didn't get a proper lover fest we didn't get a proper lover tour so i think something from lover on piano what i would say is miss americana and the heartbreak prince but obviously we get a very short bit of that at the start of the show i just think because of the it's been a long time coming um oh what death by a thousand cuts that'd be a good one i would very much like that maybe something speak now obviously we've got long live so maybe not two speak now ones Hmm, this is a good this is a good question if Taylor was to film a CD DVD like concert film for the Eras tour which two like songs would you like from her discography dis her collection of songs <laughs> you'll notice this in some videos when I can't say words I try get around it by saying the most random words ever and it, it sometimes sounds really weird but yes from Taylor's collection of songs that she has released in her time which two songs would you like for on guitar and on piano for the Eras tour DVD if it comes out obviously there's no confirmation I think we could get something on streaming because I think things with streaming is easier um to do it obviously we had the Reputation Stadium tour on Netflix I don't know if she'd do something on Netflix again simply because of the whole like Ginny and Georgia 
like fiasco basically they released west americana on there and then they did this Ginny and georgia joke that was just a terrible joke it was not funny and taylor called them out on it so i don't know if it'll be released on netflix maybe disney plus she released the city of love a concert on disney plus and i think a lot of people have disney plus i have disney plus so i would not complain and disney's disney's got a lot of money disney can put effort into things and obviously the 1989 whole film that was actually on apple that was on apple music so maybe she could do it on apple tv there are lots of different options where she could release it on but personally i would love a physical one again just because it's nice to have something physical and then say they take it off streaming like they did with the city of lover concert you've still got it they cannot take it away that is why i love physical media so much because you cannot change that this was the midnight's late night edition let me know if you like this video that would be really really cool make sure you check out my eras tour series because i love doing that so much i had the best time at the eras tour thank you so much for everyone who tried to help me get tickets unfortunately we did have to go with resale oh, we will not be discussing that it's it's unfortunate it's sad it was it was an expensive trip like obviously people are asking me i don't want to comment how much tickets were like i'm just gonna put that there that i don't want to comment on it um you can find it for yourself you know obviously we paid a certain amount we saw the tour we really enjoyed it this is something i wanted to do for about 10 years now see taylor in the us i had a few comments being like why did you fly over blah 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 we were so much blah 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 because i wanted to my mum and i wanted to do this for so long it was like a dream trip it's like a once in a lifetime dream magical wonderful trip and we loved it so yeah just be aware of that that is why we did it because we, we wanted to and it was the best so yeah i feel like i should address it somewhere but yeah thank you so much for watching make sure to like and subscribe if you like this video check out my era's tour vlogs and yeah have a great day and thank you so much for watching mm -hmm.